The hardest part to starting an online business is the startup cost. So you may be thinking, okay, I may need an only one platform like ClickFunnels. Well, here's the problem. When you come over here, you notice that the startup price is about $80 per month. So this could be quite a bit if you're just starting off because you're going to need to master your traffic. You're also going to need to have a platform that works. So $80 a month or $247 a month could be a bit too much. Secondly, there's also another program called Kartra. And again, we have the similar problem. We go to the monthly plans here and we notice that it's 99 per month and over here it's 199 per month. So you may be thinking, well, why not go to WordPress because all I have to do is to pay my hosting. Well, WordPress is a bit complicated because if you don't know your way around WordPress and the types of plugins that you need to use, this can end up costly. I mean, I did this myself and um, oftentimes I'll find myself very, very frustrated. So this is where now I need to talk about a system.io. This system here is amazing. Check this out. If I come over here to pricing, notice what you can do right from the get go. We don't even have to pay a penny, but over here you can store 200 contacts. You can send emails unlimited. You also have three sales funnels. Now all this is enough for you to get up and running super, super fast. You don't really need to spend a lot of money. This system here is absolutely free. So you have pretty much everything that you need in order for you to run your online business. You see, you have order bumps, you have email campaigns, you also have coupon codes, deadline funnels, pretty much everything. You can also have integrations with your payment gateways, which means you can start uh, collecting all your monies after you've set up everything that you need to set up over here. Now, of course, at the later stage, you may want to upgrade and get more features. For example, over here on the, the paid one, which is only $27 a month, you can have up to five courses. Now, this already is enough for you to start earning money in order for you to upgrade to the higher ones. Now, what System.io has done here is fantastic because they are really catering for anyone that wants to start a business because they've understood the fact that when starting a business, it has high costs, especially if you're doing it online. So they've provided all the tools that you need. So not only can you do courses, you can also do affiliate marketing, you can sell physical products, you can also promote products on their marketplace. So pretty much this is an all-in-one system. Now you may be thinking, okay, it may be complicated to use. Well, let me show you how easy it is. So over here, I can just click on get started for free, add my email address. So all I have to do now is to confirm my registration, click to confirm the link. And all I have to do now is to enter my new password. That's it. Now I'm in my dashboard, which means I'm ready to start adding all my content. So, well, at this point, you may be thinking, well, this could be quite difficult to learn and quite difficult to use. Now, let me show you uh, the main areas that you need to master in order for you to get up and running super fast, because when you set up an online business, you're going to need email marketing. You're also going to need to set up your funnels. So let's start by uh, talking about email marketing. So I use a service called SendGrid. So for the free account here, you notice that it's zero per month and you can send 100 emails per day forever for free. So this is a very good starting point, especially if you are setting up your online business. So you need to register an account with SendGrid. And once you've registered it, what you need to do is to come over here to your dashboard and then come over here to your settings. Click on mailing settings. And then over here, you have an option where you can say, I want to use my own SendGrid API key. Once you click on that, you paste your API key here and that's it. Your email system has been connected. So now you can create landing pages and all the other stuff that you want to add to your system to make it work for you. Now let's talk about the other aspects of system.io, which is the funnels. So I'm gonna come over here. Now creating a new funnel is easy. All you have to do is to click here on create and you can name your funnel. Now I can click on either build an audience, sell, or I can have a evergreen webinar, but of course this is for a paid option. So let's just go with build an audience, create, and now I have all these templates to choose from. And this is really, really cool because I don't have to waste a lot of time uh, designing anything from scratch. So I'm gonna come over here and click on select. Now, if you want to customize it, this is what you click. You click on edit page. And just like that, we are in our system here. And now we can go ahead and upload our logo. Now to work on this, you can just click on this gear icon. Now, if you've used Divi, Elementor, or any of those page builders, you're going to find it very, very easy to use this because it's pretty much the same process. Of course, it's not as advanced as Divi or Elementor, but it does the job. Okay, so uh, if you want to add your own image, you can just come over here and upload your own image for your logo. But of course, I don't have anything here. The next thing that you may want to do here is to connect your uh, list here by clicking on this gear icon. So you notice that you can uh, come over here, change your placeholder color and so on. Now, once you're done with that, you can just hit save changes. 
and let's exit out of here. So what is important here is the rest of the settings. So you can come over here to automation rules. So you can say, okay, I wanna add a rule whereby when someone subscribes, you want to add perhaps maybe even a tag so that you can follow up with them. So what you need to do is to create a tag beforehand and then select it over here. So to add a tag, you can just come over here to contacts, click on tags, add new tag, and let's call this subscriber and hit save. So now I have my tag called subscriber. So if I go back to my funnels, click on my first funnel, and now let's go to my automation rules. So now I can click here and add my action. And my action is to add a tag, which now if I click on the drop down, I can find it and now it's called subscriber. So the benefits of adding your tag is as you're building your mailing list, you can add several tags so that you know who you're going to send your emails to. For example, let's say you have customers that have bought a specific product, you can create a tag for them. And then uh, if you do want to send an email out, you can say, okay, this email is specifically for customers or for people that bought product A. And for subscribers, you could totally send them a different email altogether. Now, the one thing I like about uh, system.io is the automations because chances are if you're running an online business, you don't want to spend most of your time uh, on the system itself doing things manually. You want things to be happening in the background automatically. And this has the power to do that. Let me show you. So over here, you can also see your stats. You can also see your sales. You can also see your deadline settings. But... Over here now, you have your automations. So if I come over here, you have rules and workflows. So over here on the rules, it's similar to what we had a look at earlier on. And you can see here, I have my rule. So if I click on that, here's my trigger. So when someone is subscribed to the form, uh, this is the tag that's added. So we can even add more items here. So I can remove a tag, I can send an email, I can enroll in a course, I can do all sorts of things for that particular funnel. So let's head over to our workflows. Now this is even more advanced because you can add several workflows. So if I click here on create, I can, uh, let's call this uh, Mac. I'm running out of ideas. So you can decide what you want to add to this workflow. So if I click on that, so create your first trigger. So this is what we need to do first, click on this plus button. So we can say, okay, uh, let's add an action, choose the action. So you could apply a tag, remove a tag, enroll in course and so on. So I don't have any courses uh, created, but if I wanted to add a course, I can just uh, add my course and then enroll them uh, automatically. But of course, as I mentioned, I can't do it because I don't have a course set up. So let's choose something that we can do. Apply a tag and let's say subscriber and create. Okay, so this is my first trigger. So I'm gonna choose my trigger here, uh, funnel form subscribed, and this is my squeeze page. Okay, so this is when someone subscribes, I am gonna apply a tag called subscriber, and then I can continue saying, okay, I wanna add a decision and I can choose a condition here. So let's add condition. So I can choose my filter here. Okay, so let's go to tag. Tagged with, I'm gonna go ahead and choose subscriber and then I'm going to hit create. Okay, so now you can see if the person is tagged with subscriber, over here, if the answer is yes, we can add even more items. I can say delay by, let's say days, create. So I can delay one day and then send a custom email. And then over here, I can say, okay, I don't have a tag for this subscriber. Well, in this case, I want to uh, perhaps add an action and the action could be either enroll. So I could say, okay, unsubscribe from campaign and then choose the campaign. But of course I don't have a campaign, but this initial part here may seem overwhelming because there's a lot that you're setting up. You have to get the logic right here, but once you've set it up, you're good to go. It's set and forget. And this just works in the background for you, which means you don't have to spend a lot of time going in and trying to fix things over and over again. So this frees you a lot of time, which means you can focus on creating your content or even doing your marketing. So this is why I like system.io and I highly recommend this for anyone that wants to start an online business. Now I have a special link in the video description below. If you use that, you are going to get access to my online course, which teaches you how to set up an online business. This course is absolutely free. The link to that is in the video description below. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.